Welcome back everyone. In part two of our ASR tutorial series, we are diving deeper into the world of speech recognition technology with a focus on editing and revising our text. Join me as I want to explore how to fine tune my content using the features of uh, Google voice typing and uh, Microsoft Dictate. If you are new to voice typing, I recommend checking out the earlier video in this tutorial series, uh, ASR tutorial part one. All right, now I'm gonna pull my target reading passage into the recording screen. And now we can compare the text written by Microsoft Dictate with the original text. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so we can easily compare how different our target text is with the one written by Microsoft Dictate. So what I'm gonna do now is to give it a quick search on uh, Microsoft Dictate commands. I suggest that you uh, consult these uh, commands before you actually start writing with any ASR engine because it gives you a better idea of how to uh, edit or revise your text. For example, as you can see, if you intend to insert a new line in the document, you can simply command new line. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back to my target reading passage. Select, sorry, the storeroom, not restroom. Okay, it, did, it didn't recognize properly. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is to select word by word. Select not. Select sorry. Delete. Select the storeroom. This is an example of a situation where you keep commanding for deleting or replacing the word with another one and it may not recognize your command as a command. Sometimes it uh, the engine recognizes it as, uh, as a text. Delete. Well, the combination use of uh, your keyboard and mouse plus uh, the ASR engine might be a better option, particularly for editing and revising your text. Delete. Delete. That somehow got turned into a storeroom. Period. We have the repeated word, but, so I'm gonna select it, delete. All right, for this one, I suggest that we select a chunk of words like this. Sharing of those underused assets, period. Okay, so it would be a better strategy if we could select a chunk of words and repeat the same chunk uh, followed by uh, a proper punctuation mark because it would make it easier for ASR engine to understand the phrase compared to a time when you just uh, uh, say one word only. Here we got second hand with a hyphen in between. Second hand goods. Second dash hand. Second hyphen hand. Uh, in terms of uh, understanding punctuation marks, Microsoft Dictate particularly may not function pretty pretty well. Now I'm going to switch to <clears throat> the text written by Google Voice Typing. I'm gonna put them side by side. If you haven't used Google Voice Typing before, you can hover your cursor uh, over Tools and go all the way down to voice typing so it gets activated. Okay, the first thing I would need to do is to delete these parts. Let's see if Google voice typing can recognize my commands properly. So 
Select new paragraph. Delete. Select new line. Delete. Backspace. Delete OK. Delete new. Backspace. Backspace. Delete new paragraph. Delete new paragraph. Select using. Capitalize. Select of the second of second. Select second hand goods. Select second hand goods. Second dash hand goods. Undo. Second hyphen hand goods. Undo. Second hyphen hand goods. Select with. Capitalize. Select over. Delete. Ever. Select and. Capitalize. Select peer to peer. Peer to peer. Okay. So when it comes to editing and revising, Google Voice Typing truly stands out, making the whole process smoother and more efficient. And that wraps up our exploration of editing and revising with Microsoft Dictate and Google Voice Typing. Whether it's the precision of Microsoft Dictate or the fluidity of Google Voice Typing, each has its unique strengths to elevate your content. Stay tuned for more exciting tutorials and tips. Thank you for watching.